And welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. Last time we got through a bunch of stuff to get side questy stuff done, and now we are going to do some more side questy stuff, and I actually have to confess that I've actually done this part already because I had another recording fail. Um, there's just like a black screen, and that's the recording, that's all there was, so... That's just a teensy bit frustrating. Uh, it seems to be a problem with Game Boy games, because that's that was happening with Pokemon as well. Um, I've actually heard that for Elgato Game Capture HDs, that one of the best things you can actually do is to actually sort of fill around with it before actually recording. Like once you boot it up, basically uh, like make a short like just. Make a video just to see if it'll work, and then actually try again. This is another hard piece. We can't actually get a sword skull from this guy though, because it's too dark in here to actually see. Um, kind of a weird technicality, but a technicality nonetheless. Um, this is also the one we got for fusing the concern with the dog, I think it was the dog. And we got a piece of heart again, so that's actually really cool that we got to right in, in the same place, basically. Uh, because the garbage on blocking path, this is also one of the earlier places where you can even get that, so I thought I should mention that as well. Um, let's see... Oh, I never triggered this, actually. Um, we can't still use that now, though, so it'll be a while till we actually get to use it. Um... It's like a mustache guy strikes me as somewhat unreliable. There's something fish about this room too. Yeah, we're not gonna worry about his room just yet, but we can actually fuse kinstones with him. Um This basically is actually one that you want to do as soon as possible, as soon as you have the magic piece, because it's a really good item. You want to have it. It's just totally worth your time. On Lawn Ranch. Um, there's apparently also a ladder down here, but there wasn't really anything important down there, so we're not going to worry about it for now. Um, another thing I wanted to make note of is the fact that there's actually another place we can actually go over here. In that, oh. In that little tree hut thing, you can't really see it but that well, but the thing down there. Um... There's a guy who, in exchange for mysterious shells, will basically give you uh, a figurine of different characters. It's kind of similar to in The Wind Waker. You actually have to do this for a piece of heart. So, I just want to bring that to your attention, but you don't really need to start worrying about it for a little bit. But you really, really should get started on it at ASAP, so you don't have to spend a lot of time wasted just goofing around with that. So just a little observation that you want to make as many figurines as early on as possible. Uh, and it's gonna be annoying because you have to get like, a, I think the guide said 130 and there's a lot of rep repeated text. So it is not fun by any stretch of the imagination to do that. <laughs> so down here, we have the big wallet. So now we can carry, I think, the maximum number of rupees, or maybe it's more like 500. Also, I figured out off screen what to do with this bush. It's just as simple as Pegasus boots. So, Ezlo will do his thing again, and we can go get this. Yeah, I don't know why Elgato Game Capture HDs, on a side note, are known to be a little bit on the unre unreliable side, to be honest, when it comes to losing footage. Another heart piece, and there's two more we can actually get, uh, easily. Uh, and they're both in near Mount Krennel, so we're now going to depart towards Mount Krennel. Uh, okay, and also we can learn a new sword skill, I think. There's a guy there that can teach us something that we couldn't do before. Um, we couldn't get up to him before because it was blocked by a two-link spot. By two link spot, I mean like where you can split yourself in two. So, what was I gonna say now? 
Yeah, so the future of Game Boy LPs might be a little bit at risk <laughs> because of all these, you know, uh, failures, these failed recordings. Um, unless I can really get a consistent method down, I may have to stop doing GameCube games because of just how some games you can get away with losing footage for and be relatively okay. Others, it's like really, really hard to recover from losing footage. Like one of my planned games was actually Animal Crossing for the GameCube. And as many of you may be aware, the game actually has severe fourth wall breaking capabilities when it comes to a setting. And if I'd have to redo a day, that would be really devastating because, you know, you can't really redo a day in Animal Crossing that easily because you have to basically uh, redo everything you did, but sometimes you can't redo things in Animal Crossing. You literally have to reset the game and restart, which I personally would not be crazy about. Certainly a game like Thousand Your Door would be very hard to re-record certain parts, cough, final boss, cough. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of worried about that. So this is Great Blade. If you train with me, you will learn much. He teaches you the rolling stab, or rolling attack. Um, it's really easy. It's just press B after rolling. <laughs> That's all there is to it. He makes a big deal about it, but it's really straightforward. Um, okay, try it yourself. Like that. So we now have, I think, our third or fourth Tiger Scroll. I can't recall which number it actually was, but we have a lot. Um, let's see, what else? I also wanted to go over the fact that this game was, like, really weird from the standpoint of timeline. I haven't gone over the timeline yet, actually, at all. This game is actually set after Skyward Sword. <laughs> um... In like the new Hyrule, after the events of Skyward Sword, where they leave Skyloft, and I probably shouldn't say too much about that. Actually, just spoiler, spoiler. Um, but basically, after they you know found the Ground Kingdom of Hyrule, this game takes place, and I think Four Swords and Four Swords Adventure are actually set much later, because I yeah I think they're set much later because it's like Vati's curse, so body sort of returns, sort of like Ganondorf. Uh, so it's complicated. So if you fuse with Malari, um, you actually cause a beanstalk to appear. I think I pointed out that spot earlier as well, uh, as being suspicious, but I don't recall actually doing so. Um, that's at the very top of the mountain, which is not the easiest place to get to. Um, from here, it's kind of a walk. <laughs> um, what else? A lot of people debate the fact that Link doesn't have a hat in this game, because Link in Skyward Sword had a hat as part of a training uniform. So, and also, as a lot of, a lot of people also argue that he didn't have a training uniform with a hat. Like, no one else has hats in that game. The hat, ratio, hat to not hat ratio is really low, <laughs> so it's said to be really bizarre that Link is the only person with a hat, and yet the hat doesn't seem to be part of the traditional garb of the hero by that point. Um, because Link doesn't have a hat in this game, but I don't know. That feels like such a con like one of those continuity things. That's just kind of a nitpick. Um, I mean, I don't know. To me, it just doesn't bother me. Continuity wise, it's like maybe this link forgot his hat. I don't know. Um, the timeline is really convoluted. I'll just leave it at that. I think the last game in the timeline though is Triforce Heroes, which is technically canon, where basically the hero of that of Link Between Worlds goes on a separate adventure or something like that. So, yeah. But long story short, it's really convoluted. Um, I think the original Zeldas are actually at the bottom of the timeline. Um, because this guy is so hard to get to, we are actually going to fuse Kinsons with the, uh, Colonel Hermit right now. 
Because we don't really want to hike up here again. <laughs> um, and we didn't have the kitchen stone at the time, but we do, so we're all set. From what I gather, green is the most common, blue is next. Most rare, and is more rare, and red is most rare. Goron sells concerns at Hell Castle, but I think they're randomized. Now that that's done... Oh, enemy. Take you out. Okay. Not fun. So now we have to climb up the beanstalk. Um... Take you out, and we are... Actually, we're right at the beanstalk, so that was easy. This video is going a lot faster than the last one, just because I know where to actually go this time. It's actually funny how that does work. So we have like a hundred some rupees, and a piece of heart. So this is like 13 or 15, I can't remember. <laughs> uh, I think it's probably 15. Um, there are a couple more we could get, I think, but I don't know where they are. Some are in- I know there's a couple in the castle wild, so we do not actually want to go down there. Well, we want to go down here, actually. Yeah. What if I use the cane on him? Um, apparently nothing, so, yeah. The easiest way to get down from here is to actually go across. Um, okay, that was, that was a little bit mistimed. I guess this one you have to be pulled out all the way or you won't get over. Uh, yeah, it is a close one. It's raining. I think it's down here. Oh, you have to go through all this again? Oh, well, there's no, this won't be faster. This will actually take longer. Um, push this, and then I think this one goes up. This one goes out. This one here. This one here, this one here. I want to see if you can push it right. No, it actually does have to go left. Interesting. <laughs> I was actually curious about that. So now that we're here, we can just kind of use shortcuts and stuff. Except not. Um, I almost flew off the edge. Um, once we get past here, we can use a shortcut to get to the bottom of the mountain really fast, so I wanted to try this way, see if it was faster than just climbing down the crenel wall. And I feel like this is actually slower than just climbing down the crenel wall. So that's a note to keep in mind for the future. Okay, so now we're down- oh, we're still not there. Go here, push this statue. This shortcut's like a long cut, more like a shortcut. Um, Cause just getting to the shortcut takes forever. And we're actually back here. So let's see just do this. Scroll. Yeah, this is actually a much longer way to go. Like just climbing straight down would have been faster at this rate. Um I like how they build it as a shortcut down. <laughs> when it's anything but a shortcut. Um, get out of the way. Oh yeah, I never talked about the guy in the post office. In the post office, they give you the, uh, basically fusing kin the kinstone with the postman actually unlocks something called the Krennel, not the Krennel, the Swordsman's Newsletter. But it's basically like a hint kind of thing, but it doesn't really help if you're using a guide in the first place. <laughs> um... Because if you're using a guide, that kind of means that you know where you're going. So you can either climb down there or just go down here. This is what I was thinking with the shortcut, but I went the wrong way for the shortcut. Um, and they cost 200 rupees a piece. So that's why it's really not a good idea to buy the Swordsman newsletters. Just because they're so dang expensive and you can just Google it, to be honest. Back to the Highlands, at long last, sunlight, um... Okay, now, uh, actually no, we need to go this way. Now we're actually gonna head back to the Highlands, uh, this direction, and actually do a thing. Um, by do a thing, I mean actually go back to Castle Wilds and sort of work on this story progression thingy. 
Um, okay, not worth the rupee. <laughs> Crows are always the, just terrible in Zelda games. I can't think of a single game where the crows aren't annoying. And fighting that guy really isn't helping. Could roll attack, I guess. And now we actually have to cast a wild. Which, oops. You need to equip the thing first. Um, here we go. Now we can actually run across. And where do we go from here? The answer is down here. And apparently you can use you can use it while still standing in the goop. Cause that makes sense. Mysterious shell, can use all of them I can get. I'll probably start fusing off screen and then show the results later. You need a bow, if you couldn't tell. Now that's one nasty looking statue. That eye has an evil glower to it. So we can't do anything here. We need to go up here, I guess. Looks like it. Um, what's in here? Snakes. Why does it always have to be snakes? Um, what is down here other than snakes? In here we have a treasure chest that's probably gonna be a booby trap. Yep. So Guardian is protecting the treasure. Take care while fighting it. This is a dark nut. There's actually a lot of speculation of why it's called a Dark Knight. Speculation is that generally that it's a mistranslation of Dark Knight. Um, that is supposed to be Dark Knight, but for some reason it got mistranslated Dark Nut. <laughs> Which, I don't know how you could make that mistake. We have a fairy, by the way, so I'm not worried. Um, like in the original Zelda, you just kind of have to trick it out. Especially in this game because it's 2D, you just basically have to kind of find the spot where he's not guarding and then attack. You have a yellow kinstone, which is important. Um, special kinstones used for plot progression purposes, typically. So that's a good sign that we're actually in the right direction. Take a oh, that's a P hat. That's what it's called. I couldn't remember the name for. Uh, a few episodes, so I was like, oh yeah, that's what, what it's called, a pea hat. Um, not sure why it's called that. I think that will hurt you if you actually touch the bramble, so don't. Word of advice. <laughs> Let's see, I don't actually know where to go here. I'm actually not using the guide because it was like super convoluted, so I'm actually kind of going in blind now. Um, uh, I have a heart piece guide and that's it. I'm not using a f the actual main walkthrough. I feel like it has to be down here somewhere, but I don't know. We have to get to shrink ourselves somehow. This is kind of connects. There's a stone there. We can push. There's water here. We don't have the rocks cape or rocks feather or whatever, so we can't jump across shallow water. <laughs> um, that's a teensy bit unfortunate. What's over here? What if we climb down here? And go left this time, because I don't know if we went left. Um. Aha! Now we're getting somewhere. Um. What's in here? Oh, Deku. He probably just sells like bombs or something. Or information. I want to sell you arrows, but you don't have a bow. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Um, well, it looks like we hit time, so I guess next time we'll have to resume through the Caster Wild, so thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for more The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap.